In this video, let us discuss Ohm's law, which scientifically defines how voltage, current, and resistance in a circuit are related. So, what is Ohm's law? Ohm's law states that the current in an electric circuit is proportional to the applied voltage and inversely proportional to its resistance. That is, I is equal to V by R, where I is the current in ampere. V is the voltage in volt and R is the resistance in ohms. The ohms law can be expressed in three forms. I is equal to V by R, then V is equal to IR and R is equal to V by I. In a circuit, for a constant resistance value, if the voltage applied is increased, the current will also increase. And if the voltage is decreased, the current will also decrease. For example, if the voltage is doubled, the current will also be doubled. The amount of current in the circuit is inversely proportional to its resistance when the voltage remains unchanged. For a constant voltage value, if the resistance in the circuit is increased, the current will decrease. And if the resistance is decreased, the current will increase. For example, if the resistance is increased by 3 times, the current will be decreased to one third of its value when the voltage remains constant. The triangle figure shown here help you to remember the three important relationships. I is equal to V by R, V is equal to IR and R is equal to V by I. By covering any one of the letters, you can obtain the arrangement of the other two on the right hand side of the formula for determining the value of the covered letter. Now let us discuss about the relationship of the Ohm's law with linear and non-linear resistors. Consider the case of linear resistor. Here the R will be constant in the equation V is equal to IR. The resistors whose resistance value remain constant for different terminal currents are known as linear resistors. A graph of voltage versus current is shown here, in which the line is passing through the origin with the slope of R. So, the only graph possible for which the ratio of V to I is constant, for all I is a straight line. And now consider the case of nonlinear resistors. The resistors whose resistance value do not remain constant for different terminal currents are known as nonlinear resistors. A voltage current characteristic graph is shown here. From the graph, we can see that the graph is no longer a straight line as the resistance is not a constant value. So, we can say that any electric devices or components that obey Ohm's law are said to be ohmic in nature if the current flowing through it is proportional to the voltage across it. And the devices that do not obey Ohm's law are said to be non-ohmic in nature. Now let's define the electric power. Electric power can be defined as a rate at which work is done in an electric circuit. Electric power is equal to work done in electric circuit by time. When voltage is applied to a circuit, the current flows through it. So, work is done in moving the electrons in the circuit. The work done in moving electrons in a unit of time is called as electric power. The basic unit of electric power is joules per second or watt. So, we can say that one watt of power is consumed if a voltage of one volt causes one ampere of current to flow through it. If the power value is positive, it means the component absorbs the power, that is it is consuming or using the power. While the power value is negative means the component produces or generates the power. The electric potential difference equation V is equal to work by Q, where Q is a charge. So, work is equal to V into Q. By substituting Q is equal to IT, we get the equation as V into I into T. Electric power is equal to work by T. So, substituting the equation of work, 
vi t by t we will be getting the equation as vi so power is equal to vi now if we substitute v is equal to ir then the power equation becomes p is equal to i square r similarly if we substitute i is equal to v by r we get the power equation as p is equal to v square by r so we get three forms of power equation what is energy the total work done in an electric circuit is called as electrical energy and the unit of energy is joule electric energy is equal to electric power into time by substituting the electric power equations mentioned above we will be getting three forms of equation for the electric energy also the unit of electric energy will depend upon the unit of power and time if the power value is known in watts and time in seconds then the energy unit will be watt second similarly if the power value is known in watts and time in hours the energy unit will be watt hour if the power value is known in kilowatts and time in hours then the unit of energy will be known in kilowatts hour so we can say that if 1 kilowatt of power is supplied for 1 hour then 1 kilowatt hour of electric energy is used in a circuit applications and limitations of ohm's law applications in a daily life we use this law for many applications some of them are mentioned here the ohm's law can be used in circuit analysis to find the unknown quantities the working of heaters kettles and other equipments also follow this law similarly there are many more applications limitations of ohm's law This law is not used for non-linear elements. The elements which do not have current proportional to the applied voltage which means the resistance value of those elements changes for different values of voltage and current. Examples are electric arc, thyristor, etc. This law cannot be applied to unilateral networks. A unilateral network has unilateral elements like diode transistor etc which do not have the same voltage current relation for both direction of the current thank you for watching the video for more details please visit our website or mail to us